Hello! Welcome to my channel. Today I will be reviewing for you an African violet called Rob's Vanilla Trail. This variety was hybridized by Dr. Ralph Robinson. He's the author of all Rob's African Violet hybrids. Rob's Vanilla Trail was registered with the African Violet Society of America in 2003 under the registration number 9296. This plant has grown as a result of my learning experience when I first started growing my new African Violet collection last year. I received it as a young starter in my very first order from Violet Barn in May of 2019. It arrived in perfect condition and here is what it looked like when I received it. At that time I didn't know much about the potting mix for African violets, the watering methods and so I just kept it in the original soil and watered it from the top. I didn't know that African violets prefer certain levels of humidity in their growing environment and I noticed that the leaves on the young starter plant started slowly drying out. I didn't have the humidity meter at that time and I didn't have a humidifier to raise my humidity levels so it must have suffered from the dry air in my home. I managed to rescue a couple of leaves before it slowly declined and what you see in front of you is one of the babies that those leaves had produced. Rob's Vanilla Trail is an African Violet Trailer as the name of this variety suggests. Trailers or trailing African Violets grow with multiple crowns that trail over the sides of the pot. Let's look at it up close. So we see one crown here and it's already started trailing horizontally. And then there are several crowns under these leaves here. And I didn't count how many um, but there are at least three crowns here. I haven't uh, groomed it yet so I don't know exactly how many. I just let it grow wild at the moment. It's still a very young plant. And if we compare it to a regular African violet we only can see one crown on a regular violet. So this is a trailing violet and this is a regular violet. And I will speak about their sizes in a minute. This is Rob's Slap Happy. So these are both Rob's varieties. Like regular African violets, trailers can be also standard, semi-miniature and miniature in size. Rob's Vanilla Trail is a semi-miniature trailer with dark green, quilted, serrated and pointed leaves. I like the leaves of, on this variety. They create nice contrast and nice background for the uh, pale pink vanilla little rose blooms. Semi-miniature varieties in African violets are known to range from 6 to 8 inches in diameter across a single crown when they fully mature. The size of a semi-miniature trailer can be larger than the size of a regular semi-miniature variety because it has multiple crowns. So again, here are two semi-miniature varieties. The semi-miniature single crown variety, Rob's Slap Happy. Let's measure it. And it's a single crown, about six inches across. And 
a semi-miniature trailing variety or semi-miniature trailer with multiple crowns and therefore its size measures about 10 inches across. Two different semi-miniature trailers can also differ in size. For example, I have another semi-mini trailer also by the same hybridizer by Ralph Robinson. It's called Rob's Gunduru. And you can see uh, that Rob's Vanilla is significantly larger. It's about by, by three or four inches larger than Rob's Gunduru. And why is that? Well, that can depend on, first of all, the size of the pot. So this is a size three and a half inches pot. And this one I just recently repotted about six weeks ago into a five inch pot. And you see how much larger Rob's Vanilla tra Trail has grown. Trailers prefer growing in wide and shallow pots. And I've been trying to be creative when picking a pot for my African Violet trailers. I have a few of them. My Rob's Gandaru, for example, is growing in a yogurt container. And it looks like this. Um, and I make holes on the bottom with the soldering iron for wicking. And Rob's Vanilla is growing in a salad container. And the salad was lemon basil pasta salad from Trader Joe's. So what I do, I also make uh, holes like here with soldering iron um, all around the bottom of the container and I just uh, pot it in there. And so far it's been liking it, I can tell, because it started blooming. I repotted it about six weeks ago and it recently just started its first blooming cycle. Finally, to complete the brief overview of African Violet trailers, there are two different types of trailers. So-called naturally trailing and the other type is called semi-trailing. Naturally trailing African violet varieties produce branching growth in a more horizontal habit and they cascade down rather than up. So both uh, Rose Vanilla and Rob's Gandaru, they are naturally tra trailing varieties. This one is a little older and you can see how the branches already start branching down a little bit. They're not standing uh, vertically. I think only this one is. Yeah, right here. But they eventually start cascading and so um, well Rob's Vanilla. And the branch that I showed you that was already um, growing horizontally is this one. So these are naturally trailing varieties of African Violet trailers. And then the other one that I mentioned, the semi-trailing varieties, I only have one of them and it's called Opera Dock. It's a miniature trailer. They often grow in a shrub-like manner with most of the branches growing vertically. So you can see that each branch here goes up rather than going horizontally. That's an Opera Dock, the Opera Dock trailer. It's a, a semi-trailing miniature trailer. Now let's get back to the start of today's episode, Rob's Vanilla Trail. As I mentioned, this is a young plant we pot it into a five inch shallow pot about five to six weeks ago and it is now at the beginning of its first blooming cycle. 
the flowers of Rob's Vanilla Trail are described as double cream to blush white pansies. They grow in multiples on a single bloom stalk, creating a beautiful bouquet. And there are many bloom stalks branching out. And this is just the beginning, so hopefully it will bloom more. However, there is one condition that needs to be met for it to bloom more, and it's the humidity in the air. I noticed that in comparison to other varieties, this one really likes the humid air and it likes uh, the humidity levels to reach about 70% and then it starts blooming. And when the humidity drops, the little flower buds start drying out. And so I removed one of them, one of the bloom stalks, and you can see this young bud just started drying out. So if you'd like growing it, it likes humidity. The flowers are not large, they're about three quarter inches in diameter. And here they are in comparison to a dime coin. So they're not very large, but they are so beautiful and so delicate and so soft in color. And there are many of them. So it's just a beautiful plant. I'm growing it under a combination of LED and natural light on a west facing window. And the temperature ranges uh, in mid 60s to upper 70s and let's check what the temperature and the humidity levels are now. So we have 75 degrees Fahrenheit and 59 percent humidity. And I have been running humidifier since I noticed that it started drying out the young flower buds. I'm growing it on a wick and this is regular tap water and the one fourth teaspoon per gallon of water of the Dina Grow liquid plain food that I've shown already in other episodes and the ratio of nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium on this one is 795 and um, the nitrogen is urea free. So here it is again Rob's Vanilla Trail by Dr. Ralph Robinson. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do. Thank you all so very much for watching. Stay safe and be well. And if you'd like to stay tuned for my future videos, please subscribe.